it's, it's a little bittersweet. I, I'm glad we're going out on a high note. We uh, have been very successful. Lockheed Martin's team leader on the Spitzer Space Telescope project watched a tribute put on by NASA today. They highlighted some of the great and many accomplishments made by this deep space observatory. It's been a great honor to be part of this. The Spitzer discovered new rings around Saturn, uncovered the birthing grounds where new stars are born, redefined galaxies on the edge of the universe, and discovered planets orbiting distant stars thought by scientists to support liquid water. It's just uh, fun to be able to say, oh yeah, I had a part of that. All these amazing images were taken by Spitzer using an infrared wavelength of light not visible to humans or any other space cameras. And the opportunity to, to peer into into places at various wavelengths and pull out of that these secrets of the universe. And so it doesn't get any better than that. Scott Tennant helped build that infrared imager about 20 years ago at Ball Aerospace. Oh, I feel like I'm a very, very lucky man. He says the light his space camera has been watching has been moving through the galaxy for billions of years. So Spitzer's instruments can take scientists back in time. And to, and to try to get to the point where there was just a little bit of heat, which is right at the beginning, was, was the dream for all of us. Next Thursday, the signal will be sent to Spitzer, ordering it to power down its systems. But the data it's gathered over 6,000 consecutive days of operation will keep scientists busy for years beyond its lifespan. It's the end of the, end of the operational piece, but the science you know, goes on and on. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News. And NASA plans to use its James Webb Space Telescope to study some of Spitzer's breakthroughs more thoroughly. The James Webb Space Telescope is expected to launch next year.